हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जीबी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर उत्तराखंड हेयर इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ लैंड ब्रीज एंड सी ब्रीज व्हाट आर दिस विंड एंड हाउ दिस विंड फॉर्मेशन टेक प्लेस एंड वट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दिस विंड सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एक्चुअली ब्रीज आर द माइल्ड विंड देर स्पीड इज वेरी लो एंड दीज आर लोकल विंड मीन्स अकर ओवर ए स्मॉल डिस्टेंस ओवर ए लोकल एरिया एक्चुअली दी सी ब्रीज अकर इन कोस्टल एरिया वेयर वाटर बॉडीज आर प्रजेंट सो वॉट आर एक्चुअली दी सी ब्रीज एंड लैंड ब्रीज सो एज आई सेट दैट दीज ब्रीज आर विंड एंड वी नो दैट विंड इज द मूमेंट ऑफ एयर एंड दिस मूमेंट ऑफ एयर अकर ड्यू टू differential atmospheric pressure and this differential atmospheric pressure take place due to difference in temperature and i have explained in the lecture which is present in playlist in general agriculture you may see how does wind blow this is the lecture then you can understand very well how wind formation take place so the process is diffusion which is responsible for the movement of air particle and same process is diffusion process in sea breeze and land breeze and these breeze are wind and occur in those area where water bodies are present so this is very common in coastal area for example uh, this is the uh, any water body uh, suppose it is sea or lac uh, suppose it is sea water is present in sea and here it is land mass it is land mass land earth is there so this is the coastal area or shore area so these wind occur in those area where land and water bodies are both are present so <clears throat> then this breeze wind formation take place now what happens during the day time when sun is present a uh, solar radiation is on land and on sea so amount of solar radiation is same this is very important that amount of solar radiation is same but the specific heat specific heat of land and water actually water is present is different it is about 0.3 calorie per gram per degree centigrade and it is 1 calorie per gram per degree centigrade so this specific heat is very important and this specific heat tells that the 1 gram substance temperature increases by 1 degree centigrade if it it receives 0.3 calorie means 0.3 calorie heat increases the temperature of 1 gram substance by 1 degree centigrade while in case of water 1 calorie is required to increase the temperature of 1 gram water by 1 degree centigrade so clearly we can see that more amount of heat is required to raise the temperature of water as compared to land in other words we can say that the this land this earth mass heated earlier than water because only 0.3 calories required here 1 calorie is required and the opposite means cooling for the cooling means reduction in 1 degree centigrade 0.3 calorie loss uh, result the reduction in 1 degree centigrade of 1 gram substance and here 1 calorie is lost for reduction of 1 degree centigrade it means heating and cooling heating and cooling of land mass is earlier earlier early or fast we can say fast as compared to water so this is the specific heat this is the uh, we can say physical property and it vary from uh, substance to substance so this is very important to know what is the role of specific heat and i have explained this role in uh, wind lecture uh, please watch that lecture in the playlist present in uh, general agriculture then it means during the day time this land mass heated earlier than see amount of solar radiation is same but the same amount of heat raised the temperature of this land mass and because of 
high temperature now temperature during day time we can say temperature during day time here uh, temperature of water and here temperature of land more so now temperature is more during day time during day time now then because of heating now temperature is more during day then air by the convection process get heat from the land and it is start to heat and it uh, move upward move upward now the here the air density decreases and because of reduction in density atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is reduced is low while in case of water heating is there but heating is slow as compared to land so there is also a moment of air upward rise of air but less uh, amount as compared to land so here density of air is more so atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is high and because of this pressure atmospheric pressure this is high atmospheric pressure the air move from sea to land to equalize the pressure difference so this is the movement of wind which is known as bridge this is the slow wind okay so breeze and it is moving from sea to land so that's why it is known as sea breeze so there is a movement the sea breeze occur during daytime now when this wind or sea breeze is there then it carry moisture it it blow uh, it blow over the uh, ocean over the lake or any water body then they carry some moisture so that's why sea breeze are moist and cause the humidity in this area coastal area so this is the reason that coastal area are humid the city which are located at coastal uh, for example uh, mumbai chennai these are humid due to sea breeze which carry the moisture so this is the reason that coastal area are humid due to presence of sea breeze and sea breeze formation take place during day time now what happen during the uh, night so now it is clear what is sea breeze sea breeze are the wind which blow from sea to land and this process take place during the day time and these carry the moisture now during the uh, night this is water body water body ocean is there water and here land now it is night after sunset after sunset the cooling is there both land and uh, water body but here 0.3 calorie reduction is required per gram to reduce the temperature 1 degree centigrade here 1 calorie loss is required to decrease the 1 gram of 1 gram water for 1 degree centigrade so it means it will cool fast only 0.3 calorie loss result reduction of 1 degree centigrade but in case of water 1 calorie loss is required for the reduction in 1 degree centigrade to yahan kya hoga ki land se bahut jaldi cooling start ho jayegi jab cooling ka process hoga compare kare land aur water mein to ye jo hai jaldi cool hoga so because of it means the cooling is fast cooling is fast so here uh, land warm and cool faster than water body so this is the reason because of specific heat okay so cooling is fast uh, after sunset or during night now the temperature remain high here we will talk about the temperature the temperature is high 
as compared to land mass because more calorie loss is required for reduction in temperature so temperature is high and temperature is low temperature is low in comparison wise here temperature is more so because of this high temperature the air molecule will rise up will get the heat by convection process from the water molecule and the air molecule will rise up as they get the heat energy here there is also rise in water molecule but not so high as compared to water body तो यहां देखिए लैंड में और वाटर बॉडी में दोनों में ही एयर मूव करेगी ऊपर को हीट लेकर के लेकिन यहां एयर कम मूव करेगी क्योंकि टेम्परेचर यहां कम है यहां टेम्परेचर ज्यादा बना हुआ है क्योंकि इसकी कूलिंग स्लो हो रही है तो एयर के मॉलिक्यूल हीट लेंगे और ऊपर को मूव करेंगे सो दैट्स वाई हेयर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर बिकम्स लो बिकॉज द डेंसिटी ऑफ एयर बिकम लेस मोस्ट ऑफ द मोलिक्यूल्स मूव अपवर्ड सो डेंसिटी रिड्यूज डेंसिटी किस पर डिपेंड करेगी एयर मोलिक्यूल्स पर करेगी अगर एयर एयर मोलिक्यूल्स ज्यादा होंगे डेंसिटी ज्यादा होगी हेयर एयर मोलिक्यूल्स मूविंग अपवर्ड साइड सो ऑन वाटर बॉडी जस्ट अब वाटर बॉडी द नंबर ऑफ मोलिक्यूल्स विल बी लेस सो एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर मीन्स द प्रेशर एक्सर्टेड बाई एयर मोलिक्यूल विल बी लेस एंड हेयर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर विल बी हाई सो दिस इज दिट atmospheric pressure difference and as we know that the when there is a pressure atmospheric pressure difference so to equalize to balance the atmospheric pressure air molecules move from high atmospheric pressure to low atmospheric pressure so wind uh, air molecules move start from land to sea so this is the mild wind slow wind so that's why it is known as breeze and these are moving from land to sea that's why these are known as land breeze and these breeze move over the land towards water body to sea side and this is the uh, land and this is the water okay so here temperature temperature is relatively low here temperature is relatively more and these are moving over the land surface and there is no water uh, bodies there so these wind or these breeze do not carry any type of moisture but sea breeze move over the water body that's why they carry moisture so land breeze uh, do not create a, a difference in uh, humidity but sea breeze uh, causes humidity because they carry some moisture so these are sea breeze and land breeze so we know Uh, that during uh, night and after sunset land breeze uh, land breeze occurs and during daytime or uh, after sunrise when there is heating sea breeze formation take place so so this is uh, the formation of land breeze and sea breeze so what is the impact impact is that sea breeze causes humidity in coastal area so this was the uh, sea bridge and land bridge formation just due to uh, difference in atmospheric pressure and uh, question may be asked why sea bridge and land bridge formation take place the one line answer is due to differential heating of land mass and water and land mass heated and cooled earlier than water body why there is so because of difference in specific heat so it means scientifically specific heat is responsible for differential heating so this was the uh, process of formation of land breeze and sea breeze thank you very much